Uh, he does not make bath bombs, but he honestly should. People would probably buy them. Thank you. Yeah, safe. Yeah. After a very long, torturous trip. Oh my god. But we need to make uh, Casper, Wyoming a, a new hot spot so they can have um, direct flights in and out. I'm just saying. My favorite bath bomb is the one that I'm about to use here in a moment. stops oh my god I had to go to Denver to Washington DC to Norfolk and it was also delayed as well we're supposed to board at 11 at night didn't get to board till the next day 1240 now not even at 1245 in the morning God even only knows Three stops, yes. It's miserable. It's absolutely fucking miserable. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm home, but oh my god, being at the airport at 5.30 in the afternoon and then uh, arriving to Norfolk at 9.30 in the morning. Hell yeah, that's fucking hell. Uh, nobody lost my items. I lost a bag. No, it's not luggage. I lost a bag that had a present for Josh in it and my phone charger. I'm sorry, JBs. I, I don't know who it is. I would love to know if you could tell me who it is. Me and Josh are fine people. Of course we're going to have little arguments and stuff. And I'm sorry some of it was caught on fucking YouTube, but... Um, No, I just went and bought a charger earlier. So my phone is fine, but still, that's besides the point. <clears throat> um, $8 machete is for Jessica Messica. I have never threatened Josh, and Josh knows this. I've talked about that $8 machete for quite a while now, and Josh knows that $8 machete is for Jessica Messica. Thank you very much. I would never threaten Josh like that. And if I did, I would think he would break up with me. And uh, no, that's for Jessica and what she's been doing to me because she's disgusting. Look, I don't even care anymore right now, people. I'm so severely sick. I, I don't care. <clears throat> I don't care. I'm so severely sick. I... I don't know who blocked you, Feather. I haven't, I blocked one person this stream. One person. No, she's very obsessed, and I don't know why, and her fucking streaming my goddamn Cam 4 stuff is absolutely disgusting, and I'm glad she got her fucking stream taken down because of that, because that's fucking so gross. And the bleach is for cat boxes. I have to clean cat litter boxes. I was going to do it before my bath, and I was like, fuck it. I better take a bath. I just got back from the hospital, people. It's a fucking waste of time. Nobody thinks I'm sick. What am I supposed to do? I just fucking went to the hospital. I don't have insurance. I don't have a fucking doctor. They just fucking gaslit me the whole time. What am I supposed to fucking do? The fuck I'm not, Jessica Mesca. I'm like 500 fucking pounds. Do I look like I'm 500 pounds? Do I look like an obese buffalo puffer fish with fetal or fetal alcohol syndrome? Do I look like that with a fucking lisp and look like I have Graves' disease with my eyes popping out? No, the fuck, I do not look like that. Thank you.
Yeah, you dumb bitch. I don't have COVID, retard. Mm. see all the comments getting removed so I, I don't know what you're talking about and I also don't give a fuck if it's supposed to be removed then it's being removed so it's not me doing it so I don't know what to tell you Yeah, says the trolls trolling me. I'm such a pleasant. I don't give a fuck. I'm sick. Are you pleasant when you're sick? I literally feel like I'm dying. Go fuck yourself. And I'll remove you again. Goodbye. Make another account, and then I'll remove that one too, and then I'll remove another one and another one. So keep doing it. I don't care. Well, I'm not fat. Thank you. I'm 147 pounds. I'm not fucking five to 600 pounds. Thank you. How about people just leave me the fuck alone? I don't need to be on here anyways. I was told to go on here because people were harassing me. It wouldn't take no for an answer. Oh, people want you to go live. People need you. People need Okay, and yet I'm being fucking harassed. I don't feel good. Why would I take those bowls with me? I gave them to Josh. Why would I spend my money to ship them out to him and take one? No, those are for Josh. I gave those to him from my collection. I'm not an abuser, and I've never fucking touched Josh. Thank you. Oh, I told people I don't want to go online, and they're fucking harassing the shit out of me, calling me nonstop, telling me to go live, and I told them no. So I'm doing it to shut the motherfuckers up, even though I said I'm miserable, I don't feel good, people don't respect me, or... The fact that I said no, I don't want to go live. So now I'm live because people won't stop harassing me. So I hope they enjoy it. Clearly they want me bullied online. Clearly I told them, oh, who am I going live for? The trolls? I'm sweating so bad right now. Oh, my God. Oh, but they tell me I'm not sick, but yet... <laughs> oh, and they tell me I'm not sick, yet here I am, sweating very profusely. Oh, my God. <sighs> they didn't give me any medicine. How are your tax dollars funding me? With what money am I getting, you fucking retard? You sound really fucking retarded. <laughs> That's no surprise. Oh, am I getting money? Really? No, I'm not getting money. Donations? You're not paying for people's donations to me. So, again, you sound really fucking retarded. So, okay. Withdrawing from what? Uh, you, you sound retarded. I've literally been sick for over a month from my mother. My mom was sick. That's how I got sick, you fucking retard. Okay. So what's the point of this? Okay.
not your money. Are you giving me money to buy food? So who gives a fuck? What if I suck your dad's dick for money? Huh? What if I suck your daddy's dick for money and he gives me money for food? Is it any of your business? No, it's not. I'm not getting money from any government assistance. So literally your projection is so strong. Ugh, and this is why I came on here to be abused. Oh yeah, everyone's waiting for you. People miss you. Oh yeah. Oh, they missed to abuse me. Oh, you forgot that part. Okay. Then why can't you fucking quit harassing me? Yeah, I chose to go online after someone literally harassed me over and over and over and over after I told her, no, 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 I'm doing this for her. So she'll shut the fuck up. And then when she's in the chat watching, she can see that I'm being nothing but being harassed. So, and then next time when I tell her no, she's going to listen to me. Addicted to what? Addicted to being sick because I was sick from November to half of January and now I'm sick again for all of March? What am I addicted to? Being sick? Yes, I love deviled eggs and they actually sound really good right now, but... Well, I didn't ban you, Puffers. I don't know who did, but I didn't ban you, so... <sighs> No, I don't have any Easter things. I don't have any Easter food. Or no Easter, whatever. No ham, no asparagus, no. Oh, my chest hurts. Oh, no ham, asparagus, deviled eggs. Although they do sound amazing right now. I don't have the energy to make deviled eggs, though. If I wasn't sick, if I wasn't sick and my chest didn't hurt, I probably could. Because mm, someone sent me a picture of some deviled eggs earlier. I was like, oh, that looks delicious. <sighs> yes, I went earlier today. I got there at like three o'clock and then I left at like six. Uh, almost, yeah, something like that. Yes, I did go today. And I feel even worse now than I did earlier. And they're just acting like there's nothing wrong with me. When I clearly, even in my throat, I don't sound good. My voice is going again. My mother got me sick, you fucking retard, you dumb fucking bitch. Who said my parents are sick, you dumb bitch? My mom's not even sick anymore. I do have honey. I, I have some immunity honey that I bought Ooh. in the airport on the way to see Josh the second time. I bought him like a spicy, um, oh, I can't remember what I bought him. I bought Josh a honey, like a spicy something. It had sriracha in it. And then I got myself an immunity honey. Um, and I was taking that there. It's just I wasn't taking it every day because I'd forget because I'm just like, I don't know. But I think I might have it in my purse. Wait, is this it? Yeah, I do. I got that. I do have mullen or whatever you pronounce it like, and I don't think, I, maybe it's a bad batch or something. It don't do nothing. Honestly, I just want to throw it away. I don't know if it's good quality. I don't know, but it looks like straight trash. And I've used it once and it tasted like dirt. Yeah. 
and it did nothing. So, yeah, I should probably throw that away, to be honest. Because I probably bought some bunk shit, knowing my fucking luck, so... <clears throat> First of all, I already told Josh about Jessica Mesca wanting to get him on panel, and I told him, and he said, fuck no. So that is not going to fucking happen, okay? Oh, yeah, I'm pooping in the bathtub. Yeah, okay. Maybe that's what you're doing. I'm sweating profusely. I do have oil of oregano. I just need to get like an empty pill capsule. I don't know if it'll work only because I've been sick for so long. Usually I'll take it when I feel like I'm about to get sick and it always kills it. Mm. I'd have to find it though and then find an empty pill capsule because I cannot take that stuff like I cannot take it raw, like, under my tongue. I have to put it in a little pill capsule, but I used to really, really swear by oil of oregano, and I need to start taking it again. I don't know why I, like, really stopped to begin with, because I used to really swear by it all the time. Well, no, I've literally been sick before I went to go see Josh. I've literally been sick, like, all of March. Oh, you could put it in a drink, but oh, if you've never had oil of oregano, oh my god, like seriously, it, it's so gross, like, it, and it burns too, it burns like a mother, so, yeah, it, it burns like a bitch, <laughs> so, and, and you know, there are cruel people in this world that tell you, oh, put this under your tongue, just like they do with wasabi and you're fucking too dumb to know any. And it's not even real wasabi. And, oh, put this under your tongue. Put this oil oregano. Oh, yeah, because people are fucking abusive. So I will never put oil oregano under my tongue again for shits and giggles for other people. Because <laughs> they're fucking cruel. How are you feeling, Alicia? <sighs> I like purple. I like orange. I like green. And black is also good, too. But probably green the most. No, I never got any any shot, and I never will. No, I don't have COVID. They took tests for that. I don't have COVID. I don't have the flu. I don't have pneumonia. That's what they told me, unless they're lying to me which I hope they wouldn't, because they were already trying to basically tell me there's nothing wrong with me, and, like, all looking at me weird, and, like, acting like I couldn't walk or something. I don't know why they were acting like I couldn't walk when clearly I have two legs that I was born with. They were really treating me fucking weird there. I, I don't know. I can walk. Last time I checked, I didn't break my feet. Yes, they took an x-ray. Oh, God, I can't even... They took an x-ray of my chest, too, yeah. And if you want to donate, I have my description, PayPal... Then cash up. I don't expect anything, though. I really, truly don't, people. I don't. What I want right now is to get better. That's what I want. And I'm so mad I wasted my time at the hospital because now I'm going to have a huge bill. And I have no cure for my ailments, so... How am I a tweaker? So because I do weed, I'm a tweaker? Well, it's legal here, and yeah, there's nothing wrong with weed. Sorry. What red cap? Coke? I can't even see what you see on screen. Coke? You want a red cap? I, 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 don't, I don't know how you're seeing things that I can't see. What, this? Gravity? How are you looking at things I can't even see on my own screen? I, I, how is that possible? Yeah. Oh, of course I miss Josh. I fucking cried. I cried for a few days before leaving because I don't, I don't want to miss... I don't want to miss him. <laughs> I do miss him, though. And I don't want to miss him because I, I want to be with him. <sighs> hmm. 
No, I know it's okay to miss him. I just, I don't like crying hysterically over missing him. And I do miss him. I don't want to be. I don't want to be here. I've had jobs in my life, you fucking retard. You act like I've never worked a job in my life, you little fucking retard. Dumb bitch. Will you quit? God, you're fucking annoying. Holy shit. Uh, why is Advil the best? I, I don't know if that's a joke or not, because you put a vomit face, but... I didn't get any... I didn't get any medicine prescriptions at the hospital, and, um... She told me to take Tylenol and Motrin and, like, go back and forth. I don't know how that's gonna help me. I literally told her one of my tonsils is swollen. She tells me to open my mouth and tells me they're fine, and then it's, like, touching the side of my throat... And I'm telling her it hurts really fucking bad. And she's like, everything's fine. And I'm like, it fucking hurts. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't have the results back for the strep throat yet. She said, ho hopefully tomorrow. I don't know. I, I really think she said one to two days, but I hope it's tomorrow. And like, I had to like, make some account on my phone so I guess I get to sign into the account tomorrow and like see I guess the results for it but it's like I need antibiotics I don't care what I have I am clearly sick I'm clearly sick I told them even before I was sick from November to January and then all of March like I'm not lying I don't when people tell me to go to the hospital go to the I don't like doing that shit for this fucking reason because I fucking go and they treat me like I'm fucking lying every fucking time What's the point of wasting shit tons of money just for them to act like there's nothing wrong with me? Every time, I didn't want to fucking go. I didn't want to go. Every time someone's telling me to go, I didn't want to go. I finally went today because I feel so shitty and this is what they do to me. I, I feel like shit. How am I acting like I'm 16? Because they're gaslighting me? How am I acting a certain way? No, literally, someone was escorted out of there earlier because she was causing a fucking scene. It wasn't me. She was the one acting like a 16-year-old, not me. I was nothing but polite and patient. Thank you. I don't have money for urgent care. That's why I went to the fucking hospital. And the last time I went to urgent care, they didn't fucking help me there either. That's why I hate the doctors. I literally wasted over 300-something dollars the last time I went to urgent care just to still be sick.
yes, I don't have COVID. I don't have the flu. I don't have pneumonia. That's what they told me. I hope they're not lying. I can't get that stuff. I've applied for it before. So everyone who thinks I'm on fucking assistance is a goddamn dick sucking liar because I can't get approved for any of that stuff. No, they did not do any blood work. No. They took my temperature. They took my blood pressure. They said my temperature was fine. It was like 98. Uh, yeah, they said no pneumonia, no COVID, no. Uh, they had to stick a thing up my nose. I don't know how my blood pressure was because she didn't say anything about that. She said my temperature was fine, but she didn't say anything about my blood pressure, so I don't know. <sighs> uh, thank you, Triggered. I, uh, I know, I literally thought, I really I hate having hope in my heart sometimes, thinking, oh, because I don't like asking for help, because it usually never goes the way I want it to. I don't like asking for help. But obviously, I'm not going to get better on my own, and I was feeling so bad today. I, I rode my bike up there and wasted it. Like, what, three hours of my time? Just for them to basically gaslight me, acting like there's nothing wrong with me. It's like, you can hear my voice. You can hear my voice. This is not normal. Okay, well, I'll have to go get some Advil because I literally don't... It's not that I don't believe in taking that stuff. It's just I really try to avoid taking it, period. That's, I mean, I used to take a leave when I used to get really bad cramps, but... Other than that, I really would not take anything for anything. I don't know. I'm just weird about that kind of stuff. But I might have to go get some Advil. Like, I, I don't... I need something. Like, seriously, I told her one of my tonsils is swollen. And when she was pressing on my neck, I told her it fucking hurts really bad. And I'm telling her, like, look at my one tonsil and then look at my other. You can see that one, the one that hurts does not look right. And she's like, oh, it looks fine. I'm like, no, it doesn't. I know it's okay to ask for help, but every time I do ask for help, I usually don't get it. So I really hate asking for help. I hate it. Me asking for help today was taking myself to the hospital. No, Elizabeth, it doesn't sound as bad as it was, but the thing is, my throat is hurting again. My throat felt fine for at least two days, and I was feeling a lot better, and then today I feel like ultimate shit again. And with one, my throat hurting again, and two, uh, like my voice, I'm, I'm losing my voice again. Why do mods not delete certain comments? I still gotta read it. I don't understand. He was laughing under his breath for what? Like, what's that about? I do have some NyQuil. I do. Although it's like the updated version that's not as thick. It's like very liquidy instead of like being like a thick syrup. Um, but I do. I have, I have Benadryl. I've got NyQuil. No. I don't have any Advil though, so I'd have to go leave the house. And I don't want to leave the house because it's so cold today. The weather was so insane today. It said it was like 74 degrees. So I didn't dress really warm today. And then when I go outside, oh, it's definitely not 74. And then it's really windy and kind of cold. And then it gets super really cold. And then it starts raining. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it probably doesn't help that it was really, really nice yesterday out either. And then today it's like practically four seasons or two seasons. I don't know. But I'm just like, <laughs> So I honestly don't even want to go to Walmart to get Advil because I was there earlier and I didn't think to get Advil because I, didn't, I don't know I don't take this stuff so I don't know if it works but if people are saying it does I don't know I don't know well if it's strep throat I'm not going to find out till I guess tomorrow and she did say if it is strep throat I will need antibiotics and so I mean I, 
I mean, I'm not hoping it's strep throat, but I'm hoping it's whatever, so I can get antibiotics. Like, I clearly need medicine, you know? I clearly do not sound good. You know, I did have pineapple juice earlier today. I think I had only one can left, and, you know, because I bought them for, like, the pina coladas. Yeah, I had a thing of pineapple juice earlier. <sighs> oh, shit. See, my fucking chest does feel fucking... Oh, it doesn't feel right. I had a pineapple juice. I had a Gatorade. Um... 7-Eleven has some kind of, like, lemon elderberry tea. Uh, I haven't finished that, but it's actually... I don't have all of my taste buds back yet, but from what I can taste, it tastes pretty good. I can't do Alka-Seltzer, that stuff. I know people, like, you're supposed to do things that make you feel better. I literally... I can't drink that stuff. It's so bad. I don't know if I get tonsil stones. I don't know, but I'm telling her. I literally was telling her, look at my left tonsil compared to my right one. You can see a difference. Like, I can touch the back of it with my tongue, and it's very sharp. Well, I don't even know if it's a tonsil. I don't know what it is. It's like a flap of skin in the back of my throat. I, I truly don't know what it is. <laughs> What all do I need? I don't know. If you're listening to me, I guess just Advil or something. But I don't know. People are saying do Tylenol or something. I don't know. I don't honestly take any of them, so I don't know what's the best. The the lady was telling me, oh, do Tylenol at blah, blah, blah time, and then whatever time later, do Motrin. And then all, I'm like, yeah, oh, that sounds such like a winning fucking answer. When I'm clearly fucking dying, but okay. I do. Um, I've always hated asking for help, though. People don't understand. When you ask for help most of your life and people just fucking brush you under the rug, you don't want to ask. I don't care that I'm literally in January of 2020 when I thought I was fucking dying on my deathbed. I didn't ask for help from nobody. And I didn't go to the hospital then either when I clearly should have. Because I don't like asking for help. Because clearly when I do, it's always the same fucking thing. I just get dicked around. And gaslit. Yeah, if your five-year-old was as sick as I would, then your fucking little little brat would be fucking complaining too. Oh, because I'm 39 and I'm fucking been deathly ill for fucking a month, I'm not allowed to complain? Okay. I've literally not had an appetite. I've gone days without eating. Yeah, that's normal. So I hope when your five-year-old is 39 and they get sick, I hope you tell them to shut the fuck up. I have been goddamn fucking sin since fucking November. I literally was only a little bit better from the very, like the half of January to February. I have been sick for fucking months. First of all, I don't fucking abuse Josh. And oh, so they can be mean to me, but I can't be mean to them. Aw, tough titty, said the kitty. Who cares? I literally told them I have yellow snot. They don't care. I mean, yellow means infection. Literally, I could have blown my nose in the hospital and shown them. No, his knee did not make me sick. I was sick before I went to go see Josh. This has nothing to do with Josh. My mom was sick. I don't know how she got sick, but she's the one that got me sick. It has nothing to do with his knee. It has nothing to do with any of that. Oh, 
uh, oh, it was spicy as a motherfucker. I'm not, it was spicy as a bitch. Literally, I could only take sips of it. I could only take sips of it because it was that, whew. But it was my idea for the habaneros, and oh my god, like, whew. It's literally like, yeah, like liquefying a habanero and drinking it, pretty much. It was a spicy, spicy, sp I'll tell you, it did, like, move stuff in my face, you know? I... I'm sick. And I'm not okay. I'm sick. I, I felt good for two days, and now I feel like crap all over again. I thought I was getting better, but... Uh. <sighs> Uh, actually, yes, I did take some. Actually, yes, I did. Um, I actually have some elderberry in the bathroom with me right now. I did take some earlier. Uh, I took it. Uh, sorry. Oh, you think that absinthe was strong as a bitch? Holy fuck. Um, but no, I do have some elderberry in here. I took a tablespoon of that earlier. And yeah, Josh, Joshy gave me a, some absinthe and I didn't look at what the proof was. I only took like a little swig and holy fuck, I could feel it before it even went down my throat and it burned like a bitch. And then I looked at the bottle and it said 62% and I said, oh my God, that shit burned like a mother <laughs> and it tastes like licorice, which is like, ugh. What is C E P H L E X? What is that? And where could I get it? And what is it? And what does it do? Why, Dan? What's wrong? Oh, the absinthe was strong as a mother. I, I literally, I mean, not like we had a shot glass or anything. We were just taking little swigs from the bottle, but, uh, no. I would not have been able to do a shot glass of that. I'll tell you that. That stuff, I didn't. Now, I've had absinthe before, whether it's the real thing that I had back in the day. I don't know whether what Josh bought was a real thing or not. I don't know. Because I thought you're supposed to have the sugar cube and then, like, spoon thing. I, I don't know. But whatever. That stuff was strong as shit. And I don't know if I've taken anything. As well, I know they were like, have you ever t had Everclear? Probably, but I mean, come on. That's like, <laughs> I do love these. And you know what? Before I left to see Josh, I bought two of these. So I looked in a bag of mine, because um, I have like a uh, laundry detergent and um, I don't, oh, I had laundry detergent, that bottle of Coke in there, because I wanted the Coke. And I look and I see two Red Bulls. I was like, are you kidding me? I didn't know I had Red Bulls in my bag. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Ooh, absinthe and Dr. Pepper, huh? Well, I don't have $60 to buy a bottle of fucking absinthe, but uh, I'll have to keep that in mind. I don't like licorice taste either. Too sh I mean, I can eat the good and plenties, um, the pink and white, white candies. I could eat those, but whew, the licorice taste is very strong. And the cemetery is very, the cemetery is very beautiful there. Very huge. Like, we have a cemetery in Virginia Beach, but it's nowhere near that big. And yeah, very, I, I love Casper, Wyoming. It's so beautiful there. 
and there were all these wild poops in the graveyard like so i wonder what kind of animals that because they were like a ton of poops just a million pellets of poops i'm like what the fuck so <laughs> but yeah it's very pretty there and i can't wait to go back there with josh when we can have some more time Uh, my favorite flavor is tangerine, but they discontinued it, so now it's tropical. I don't like any of the new red. I only like the tangerine, which was sadly discontinued, and then this one. I do not like any of the other ones, and that's fine if other people want. I just, I can't. I'm very picky with my energy drink. Krista, I don't know what you're saying. I haven't seen any of your messages, so I don't know what's going on. Um, last time I checked, I didn't know vitamins were pills. I don't do pills. It sounds like a projection on your part, sweetheart. Uh, yeah, the absinthe was almost 60 fucking dollars. That shit was not cheap. Yes, next time I go see Josh when I don't know when that's going to be, because that's what our plan was, to do a picnic, and we just didn't have time for all of that. And, but next time, we're going to have a blanket. We're going to have, um, you know, some kind of food, some kind of drink, whether it's alcohol or whatever. We're, we're going to do a little picnic there, like we were supposed to do. It's just not enough time. I hope we get a reunite soon too but i literally need to start making money to save up so it's not that i don't want to see him again soon i do but i can't just keep flying back like every time someone wants to buy me a ticket or whatever you know like i mean as much as i would love that like i, I want to be there permanently so i need to make money and hmm, as, as bad as i miss him and stuff i can't just go visit anytime i want because i need to make money so i can move there I don't have a car, but I have a license, and yes, I can drive. I, just, I don't have a car, though. No, it's not that I don't want people to help me go visit him again. I would love that, but if I get a job, I'm not going to be like, hey, well, I'm going to go see my boyfriend for almost two weeks. Like, okay, like, <laughs> let me have my job when I come. It's not going to work like that. If I could make money on YouTube, I wouldn't have to get a quote unquote whatever job and then I could save money up, but I'm going to have to get a real job in the real world where I'm not going to be able to dilly dally and do whatever I want. That's not going to work. YouTube, YouTube would be the job, but I'm not monetized. So fuck me, fuck my life, right? Mm. Oh my god, what the fuck do you think I'm gonna fucking do? What do you think my fucking plan is? Holy shit. Yeah, after I get over being sick. Nah, fuck, really? Huh. Holy mother. Ugh. Where's dry begging begin? You sound retarded, bitch. You, you sound retarded. You're literally not listening to the words coming out of my fucking mouth, you fucking demogorgon slut. Yeah, fuck Denver. Goddamn fucking Denver and their goddamn fucking delays every motherfucking time. The goddamn aliens are in the fucking airport. Fuck them. Well, I'm not doing it. 
No, your mom does because you fuck her in her ass and then straighten her pussy after you get shit on your dick from her ass. That's your mother you're talking about. That's your mother you're talking about. Sonny was in here with me earlier, but there wasn't enough room, so I had to get him out. But he was in here with me earlier, and I gave him a can of wet food, so. Uh, I don't have anything to play music with, sorry. I'm on my phone, my laptop is in my room, sorry. I, I want to listen to music too, trust me. I was thinking about that earlier when I got online. I was like, aw, but I wasn't going to go upstairs to get my laptop, so. Um, I've got I've got six cats. Four of them are orange. And, yeah. You people literally make up fucking videos about me saying my plan is to take all of Josh's money. So no, how about I move there myself without any help from Josh? How about that? Uh, yeah, having six cats is a living hell. I will never, ever have six cats ever again. Having one is enough, literally. Yeah, one is enough. I like cats too, don't get me wrong, but the house is just not big enough for six cats. And yeah, it's not big enough. If it was big enough, maybe six cats would be okay, but. Shaniqua, I knew a Shaniqua. Actually, she's one of the people that killed my one cat, ran over and bragged and laughed in my face about it, Shaniqua. I remember her. How could you ever forget her name? <clears throat> Literally used to be so nice to me in school. I think her boyfriend must have been abusive or whatever because she changed. She changed. She was always so sweet to me. So I don't know. Yeah, I embrace being a trad wife, whether fucking Josh likes that or not. I'm like, dude... I don't care, Josh. I enjoy doing these things. Let me do it. Why don't you accept it? And what, like, how am I being sexist towards myself? I'm not. I enjoy doing those things. Never had a ferret. I wouldn't. They poop too much. Because someone bought my plane ticket, and I was already sick before I went to go see Josh, but I was like, I'm not going to cancel this. And yes, did I feel bad to see him, like, to go fly? Yeah, I did, but I was like... I can't cancel this. I got to see Josh again. Oh, shit. My cat's names. My cat's names are Oliver, Sunny, Rusty, Riff Raff, Corazon, and Mama Kitty, a.k.a. Tiger Lily. No, but I fucking love Josh. I don't mind cooking or cleaning for him. Like, whatever. I mean, somebody's got to do it. So who gives a fuck who does it? I don't care if he wears the same. I don't care. I really don't care. I've been wearing the same fucking clothes. As long as I take a shower and I change my underwear, I don't care. So. Uh, I'd only take Oliver and Sonny with me. The rest, like my parents. 
Um, Sunny and Oliver are, are my favorite, and um, no, I did not have blood work done. Yes, he does shower, but I'm not gonna judge him for wearing the same. I don't even care. And that's part of my lung, lung, wow, lungs. Oh. That's part of my love language is doing stuff for other people, whether it's like cleaning up for them or whatever. Like, that's just who I am. If I didn't want to do it, I wouldn't do it. Plain and simple. No, oh, he likes cats, but he likes dogs more because cats are assholes and that's true. <laughs> I did not wear the same dress three days in a row because guess what? I was literally wearing something else the whole rest of that day. And then I said, oh, I'm going to live stream and I'm going to put this on because I want to look cute. So no, the fuck, I didn't wear the dress three days in a row. Thank you the fuck very much. Nope, sure haven't. And plus, people told me not to do it because they said they'll just treat me and Josh like shit, so... There's no point in that. <laughs> Rusty's too shy. He, he's a very shy cat. He's a beautiful cat. He's the most beautiful of all our cats. He's gorgeous, but he's just a shy. People should fly him out here, but I need a queen size bed before he comes to visit me because the bed I have right now is too small and it's way too small for me. He said he's seen the ocean. I asked him where, but I don't know if he answered. And if he did answer me, I don't remember. I'll have to ask him again. But I swear when I asked him, he said, yeah. No, I don't know. I'll have to ask him again. No, I don't want an air mattress. I used to have one that I wasted $100 on just for someone to fucking pop it because they're fucking assholes. So no, I will not fucking waste 100 plus something dollars on that shit again so someone could do that to me again. No, not going to happen. <clears throat> That's not stupid. Fuckers. Dumb cunt. Now I'm not getting enough food because I'm sick and I told them this. Like, I told them I don't have an appetite and sometimes I have to force myself to eat. They claim that there's nothing wrong with me. It wasn't a cat, it was a human. you would yeah I thought it was cute oh god what cartoon were me and Josh watching I can't remember but they said Casper mattress I was like aww <laughs> It is the worst. I'm seriously in a lot of pain right now. It's not even funny how bad I feel. It's really not. <sighs> how the fuck do you know what I coughed up? I only sent that to a few people, so how do you know what I coughed up? Hmm. 
Thank you, everyone. I hope I get better soon, too. Thank you. If everyone wants to put a circle of protection on me, I would appreciate it. Well, that's nice then. So I just won't talk to nobody no more. So nobody friend requests me on Instagram. I'm not responding back to nobody else either. So. Nate, you sound retarded all the time, you fucking bitch. But you're probably a narcissist, Nate, who never says, I'm sorry. Yeah, you sound fucking retarded, bitch. <laughs> when I shove it down your mother's throat first and see if she survives. That's, uh, yeah, that's when I'll do it. See if she survives first. Yeah, rest in peace with fucking, well, we won't give her fresh roses. We'll, we'll give her wilted dead roses already because <laughs> that's what she deserves. I know you ain't talking to fuck to me, bitch. <laughs> you must be talking to yourself, so. You sound retarded. I didn't complain at the hospital, you fucking retard, bitch. You sound dumb. Were you there to spy on me? Do you have video? No, you weren't there. Because if you had video, you'd fucking know that I was fucking fine, you fucking faggot. Now get fucked by your dad. Chad? Your name is Chad. <laughs> Your literal name is Chad. Your name is Chad. Your name is Chad of all things. Holy shit. The fuck I will. I will. I do what I want, thanks. If people can do what they want to me, oh, I'm just supposed to sit there and take it up the earth. Okay. <sighs> I don't like movies. They put me to sleep. Oh, shit. No. I have not seen Breaking Bad because it does not interest me at all. seen, I don't know, maybe like one episode of Game of Thrones. I was trying so hard not to watch that. I really don't like things that are like so, oh shit. I really don't like things that are so popular, like, you know, that's like what everyone, so yeah, never seen Breaking Bad, also don't care to watch it, and uh, oh shit, and Game of Thrones, I think I've only seen one episode. <laughs> Ow. Mm, what did I eat? Slim Jim? I'm burping up some kind of food flavor. Uh, Josh, he's so sweet. He bought me two things of bratwurst yesterday. Two things of uh, bratwurst and two things of buns. Because he's so sweet. 
And I was in the mood to cook bratwurst earlier, but then I was like feeling a little worse. I was like, Ugh. and I did buy a soup. I did buy soup from Walmart, so honestly, I'm really not even hungry at all, though. But I think the soup will, like, maybe, you know, help my throat a little bit, because it'll be hot. Frosty every day, she literally looks like Peter Griffin's thumb. You know, she does wheel, and this is nothing against disabled people, but she literally does wheelchair ballerina in a chicken outfit. She thinks she's like a chicken clucking prince. She's a chicken head, bitch. Chicken head. You know what that means, baby doll. <laughs> she literally is a proud chicken head that does ballerina dancing in a wheelchair. You can't make it up. Bratwurst. Oh, Joshy fucking... <sighs> Joshy loves me. And yeah, he brought me, brought me, God, he bought me two things of bratwurst. I need to put one of them in the freezer. <sighs> mm. I need to put one of them in the freezer and maybe cook the other one tomorrow. I really, really wanted to eat them tonight, but it's just, I need a freaking appetite. So I'm thinking like the soup will probably be the best choice, but I did go to Walmart earlier and I got uh, some provolone cheese and some sauerkraut as well. I'm a Gemini, and he's an Aries. No, not Transylvania. I don't know where the honeymoon would be, but I want to get married in California at whatever that place is called. I can't ever remember the name. Yosemite, I think. And I don't even know if Josh knows what that place looks like, but if he saw pictures, I think he would think it's goddamn fucking drop-dead breathtaking, like... But, yeah, I honestly want to get married in California. I know that sounds crazy, but I've seen plenty of pictures pictures of the place and it <laughs> I, I need to go there mac and me no I don't know what that is did someone say soup yeah I did I'm deathly sick uh, yeah I've lost weight I'm 147 pounds right now <sighs> oh, have I used my new stash jar? Um, yeah, I got it. Hold on. I have weed. I just, I don't even really feel like smoking, to be honest. And honestly, I don't know which weed this is, but I should have got $40 of this instead of half and half, because whatever this one is, is the better one. Definitely. Oh, yeah, my little Jeffree Star... People were saying, oh my god, you bought a stupid jar from Jeffrey. <laughs> Whatever. We are a good match. Literally my whole life I've read Gemini and Aries, and I've never known fucking any Aries. My whole One Aries I know is a YouTuber, and she's a female. And the other Aries, I thought we got along great, and then he just quit talking to me one day, like no explanation. So Josh is literally the third Aries that I know of for a fact. Um, and yeah, we are supposed to get along. No, because I don't know what time I was born, so I can't have it done because I don't know what time I was born. Oh, he needs an alien? Oh, no, I've not heard of that. Yeah, he had, I think he had like three jars to choose from. If I, I think he had green, pink, and black. And I love green, and the green one was out on display. This is not display. I got a brand new box with it. But the green one was on display. They should have had all of them on display, but I'm like, well, I like green. Weed is green, so... Oh my god, broccoli cheddar. Oh my fucking god. Gruyere, um, what is it? It's um, Emerald Lagasse broccoli gruyere soup. The only thing I do different to it is I add oyster crackers and bacon. Holy god damn bitch. It is so good. Oh, now you, you got me wanting to make it for real. I don't feel good though. But the Gruyere is like the most expensive part of the fucking recipe. Oh my god, the, the Gruyere and oyster cracker and the bacon together. You cannot go wrong. That sounds so good right now. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, my email for what? 
how about purple one? If you have uh, Instagram, how about, like, I'm too overwhelmed to be looking at my email right now. I haven't looked at it in God knows, like, how many days, like, two weeks, so I'm a little overwhelmed to look at my email, but if you want to, like, Instagram me or something, I don't even know what you want my email for, but, uh. I'm not a Scorpio. That's why she's looking like Peter Griffin's fucking thumb that he sticks up his fucking asshole and then he fucking sniffs it to see if he's got a fucking shit later down the fucking day. Yes, yeah, Snoozy, I know. I don't even know which one this is right now. I wish he would have labeled them because they were all the same fucking strains that he had before I left to go see Josh. I'm like, God damn, you don't even have nothing fucking new. That's boring. Uh... But yeah, I like this one better, but I don't know what I don't know which one it is, unfortunately. So, and my dumbass has been sitting in the tub without my bath bomb the whole time. So now the water is practically cold. And my bath bomb is not really doing anything because I've been so slow to hmm. No, that's great. Okay, then go over there, then. Go over there. You act like it's gonna fucking hurt me. Go over there. No, old man herb, no, nobody communicates with me. I usually just talk to myself. Am I okay? No, I'm sick. I'm sick, I don't feel good. Yeah, I, I couldn't protect myself if my life fucking depended on it, that's... Yep. And since the water is not hot, I basically am wasting my bath bomb because it's not dissolving at all. So this is a waste of my bath bomb because I've been sitting in here for quite a while now. And yeah, so I'm fucking stupid. So whatever. Um, please stop. I'm sure he doesn't need me in his live stream. You don't have to make shit up. Thank you. I'm miserable because I'm sick. I'm miserable because I rode my bike up to the hospital just to be acting like there's nothing wrong with me. Uh, my chest hurts. My throat hurts. My ear hurts. My face hurts. I'm in pain.
Good, Suzanne. Keep texting him. Good. When, when you're done, you can send me the screenshots. Well, if he's asking for me, he could literally text me before he goes live saying, hey, come in my live stream. So I don't trust you. So <laughs> whatever. Keep your lies to yourself. Okay, people. Okay, I'm not good enough. Thanks for letting me know this. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate it. People trying to fucking trigger me saying that he only misses me to a degree. Okay. Yeah, 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 because you know everything that fucking happened. It's all my fault. Shut the fuck up. I, I don't know what Easter is. I don't know what that is, so... <laughs> You people are really trying to upset me, so. I didn't fucking delete that. I didn't delete any messages. So is someone now have a fake Queen Cobra account? Because I didn't fucking do that. Okay, because that's Josh. Josh. Josh makes money on here. That's to be expected. He makes money on here. Duh. Okay. Yeah, how am I going to make money on here considering I'm not monetized? Make that make sense. Duh. What did I do that was special today? I went to the hospital just to be treated like there's nothing wrong with me. That's what I did. There's no Easter. There's no Easter food. There's nothing. Not even any medicine. restricted for what? How am I being 
fucking miserable. One, I'm fucking sick. So yeah, I am fucking miserable. You people do the shittiest things to me. And I'm just supposed to not be fucking miserable. Fuck you. I haven't done anything. I'm not tripping out. I do not feel good. How am I playing victim? What did I do to you? Nothing. You people are making shit up. What did I do? Nothing. I'm waiting. I'm in the tub because I don't feel good. What am I doing? did nothing. Oh, I don't know because someone told me to go on here. They said they would not quit harassing me even though I told them I just got back from the hospital. I don't feel good. I don't want to do this. They kept calling me over and over and over and over and telling me I need to go live. Everyone misses me. People are waiting. Cash up, cash up, cash in, cash in. I'm like, you can't force people to donate to you. Like, you people really don't know how this works. <laughs> Literally, I said, no, 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 no. So I'm doing this to fucking tell her. Here, I'm doing it. So next time when I tell you no, I'm going to mean no next time. Okay? She literally wanted me to go live so the trolls could be mean to me. Literally. Because there's been nothing but fucking negativity. So. Well, I'm going to bed. I, I got to go to Walmart here in a little bit, so I'm about to be getting out of the bath. I wasted my bath bomb anyways, and the water's cold. I was supposed to put the bath bomb in as soon as the water was fucking hot. And instead of doing that, I just sweated instead. Uh, I need to go to Walmart and get some Advil. I don't even know what to get, Advil or what? I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to buy. I don't even want to go to the store because it's fucking freezing outside. I don't want to go anywhere. But I need to try something. So Advil or I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to buy. But I, I got to go get out of here soon and go get something and then go to bed. Okay. He made over a hundred bucks in five minutes. Okay. Good for him. That's Josh's money. I'm not Josh. Why do people come over here telling me how much money he makes? Okay. I mean, what, what are you people trying to do to me? Oh, he misses me to a degree, so he doesn't really miss me. Oh, oh, he sucks. Okay. Okay. Oh, I deprived him of making my another fuck I didn't. He fucking blows goes off whenever he feels like it. I have a coffee account. Did anyone ever fucking donate it to it when they fucking told me to make it? No, they didn't. So it's fucking pointless when people tell me to do things. And I don't expect nothing from it anyways, but it's pointless people to, oh, do this, do this, and then I don't get anything from it, so I don't care. How did I get naked in front of my dad, you fucking bitch, when I was already naked in the tub, you retard? care 
care if they don't fucking donate. Don't tell me to fucking make something and then not donate to it. I don't care. But don't tell me to make something and then nothing ever comes of it. It's a waste of my time. I don't want to take money from Josh because you people already say that I'm trying to take money from him. I, I don't want any of Josh's money. Thank you. First of all, I'm not fucking toxic, and they don't know the whole fucking story. I don't care how much of it was fucking strained. Not all of it was fucking strained. You don't know fucking all of it. You don't fucking know even half of it. Fuck you. If I sound so fake, then why are you here, you fucking little dimmy gorgon fucking piece of shit, so you can cry and complain about it? I don't give a fuck. I was also blackout drunk, you fucking retard. You people are fucking retarded. See, here we go. They say, I'm only about using Josh. I use Josh for his money. And then they tell me, oh, it's behind this. It's in this puff tank. It's this. It's there. It's a Fuck you, you fucking obsessed, mentally ill fucks. You're the one obsessed with some fake fucking money that's never happened. I don't care. Good, I don't care if he's making thousands of, good for him, good for him. I don't give a fuck if Josh makes money. Quit fucking trying to fucking rub it in my face. I don't give a fuck. His money is not my fucking business, so quit fucking telling me. No, you're trying to piss me off. I don't give a fuck.
why are you so fucking miserable that you're a troll and this is what you do with your whole fucking life? Huh? You can't answer that, can you? No, I'm gonna fucking go to Walmart and then I'm gonna go on my fucking four hour walk is what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna come home and pass out, so. I'm, I'm gonna go on my four hour walk here after I go to Walmart and get my medicine. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't give a fuck if he gets motherfucking donations. I don't need people telling me how much he's fucking making because you people tell him that I'm after his fucking money and I'm not. So shut the fuck up. I didn't know you had to go to a pharmacy to buy fucking Advil. I didn't know that. Maybe times have changed. I don't know. I don't buy the shit. So maybe times have changed, and I don't know the rules in the regulations. I don't know. I guess I'll find out when I go to Walmart. Then yeah, I can fucking turn the chat off so none of you fucking bitches can talk and then I can't read shit and you can't say shit. Simple fucking plan there. The only fucking bitch I threaten with a motherfucking machete bitch is Jessica Mesca, bitch. And Josh can vouch for that many times over. Thank you. Your mother's triggered when you fuck her in the ass on a daily basis, but you still don't stop, so... Don't give a fuck. Never happened. Thank you. Where are the positive comments? I'll, I'll wait. Where are they? I'll, I'll wait. Show me where I'm drinking. Show me where I'm drinking. I I'm drinking a Red Bull and Coke.
You sound retarded. It smells like ginger, you fucking retard, dumb bitch. But, oh, you're too stupid. Maybe it smells like your mother's rotten fucking roast beef fucking curtains, bitch. How are my problems, Josh? What? what? You, you sound retarded. How are my problems, Josh's? You sound retarded. You, you sound retarded, bitch. I went to the hospital today. What does that have to do with Josh? You sound mentally retarded. Take yourself out. You don't see fucking meat hanging off my pussy, bitch. You don't. I, I know that's what your mother's pussy looks like. That's not what mine looks like, okay? Quit revenge porning me because I hope it happens to your fucking daughter and you can't do nothing about it. <laughs> well, it literally says this is a... Uh, restricted stream. So how about you follow the fucking rules of YouTube and figure out what you're supposed to play for your fucking son? How about that? What fans? Trolls are not fans. Then quit telling me how much fucking money he makes because I'm not here for his fucking money, retard. No, you're the mental one, bitch. Fucking trying to fuck with me, bitch. You're the mental one. I don't give a fuck if he's making money. Hello? I don't care. Quit telling me how much money he's... I don't care if that's his money. Hello? His money. It's not mine. Thank you. I don't care. Yeah, well, I don't trust none of y'all. So, anyways, I, I hope that bitch that fucking kept harassing me earlier is happy that I went live for her. I hope she's happy considering it has been nothing but a fucking shit show. Yeah, because you guys know every little detail that happened there. I, I'm such the bad guy. Yeah, I, I, I'm the bad person because you know everything that happened. Yeah, okay. Mm.
okay, if he can do so much better, then why hasn't he had so much better? You, you, you literally need to make sense. Try to make sense. If he can do so much better, then why hasn't he had it then? Figure it out. No, it's none of your fucking business. Oh, he's had better than me when he was alone then I shouldn't have been fucking flown out to fucking uh, Casper Wyoming then if he can get better alone because what's the point of that if I'm literally there and he wants some what's the point of that then don't fly me out there and Kara you look ugly as fuck you'd be lucky if anyone wants to fucking stick their dick in your ugly face I know I'd, if I had a dick, I'd fucking shove my dick in your eyeballs. No, the fuck he didn't fly me out. No, I didn't buy my own fucking ticket. That's not the fucking point. If he can do better alone, I don't need to be flown out there. Hello? I didn't say he bought it. No, I didn't say that. Yeah, yours should. I'm the degenerate. Show me where I try to ruin people's lives. I'll wait. I'll wait. Show me where I ruin people's lives and get their fucking plane tickets canceled, pretending to be them. Show me where I say that I'm going to bring drugs and whatever and death threats to the fucking airport. Show me where I do any of this to ruin anybody. I'll wait. I don't. You people are the degenerates. Thank you. I didn't threaten him with a fucking machete, you stupid bitch. I 
I've never used Kiwi Farms, you fucking retard. I'd have to make an account and do all these fucking tricks. I've never used Kiwi Farms. I don't have an account on there. You sound stupid. his money you fucking people make up shit that I want his fucking money stop oh I'm mean oh I'm mean you literally were calling me over and over and over and over harassing me when I told you I just got back from the hospital and I don't feel good and I didn't want to go live and you're telling me cash in cash no you're the mean one because you don't respect me you're the mean one you're the mean one you kept calling me and calling me and calling me and calling I'm not the mean one you respect me when I'm the sick one you said you're a youtuber I don't care if I'm a youtuber at the end of the day I'm a human being you're the mean one. You're saying, oh, people miss you. People. Oh, that's why I've literally had trolls in my chat all night. You literally begged me, harassed me. You would not take no for an You're the mean one because you don't take no for an answer. Thank you very much. I'm mean. Okay, yeah, I'm the mean one. When I'm literally feeling like shit and I just got back from the hospital for three hours and they did nothing for me while I was there. I'm the mean one. But you couldn't respect me saying no earlier, and you just kept bothering me and bothering me. And show me, please, how I'm the mean one. No, you people literally make shit up that I want his fucking money. Fuck you. I don't want his money. Don't fucking care! How is his money all I talk about, you retard? You sound stupid as fuck. You people are talking about his money. You! Show me once where I ever mentioned his money. You people are doing it. No, you fucking retard. I don't need to hear how much donations he's getting because I don't want him for his money. Plain and simple, retard bitch. It's not that fucking hard to figure out.